Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be doing a video on the Terran G Evolution versus the FR Sky QX7 and QX7S. However, the QX7S I still have not used just yet. I just got it and it's just been sitting here. I just play around with it. It's it's just it's awesome. I love the gimbals, but I have not tested it and flown anything with it just yet. So we're going to be actually doing these two because I got these two at the same exact time to test and I've had them for five months now and I do use them equally, like every time equally. I would take three quads that have fly sky receiver, I would take three quads that have FR sky receiver. Now, in this first part of the review, we're just going to be talking my personal experience and the wear and tear and um, the overall feeling I, I get and how I got when I first got this one, what, how I felt when I first got this one, and now how I feel about both of them. And on the second part of the video, we will also be doing latency testing on the protocols SBUS versus IBUS, plus the encoders that are inside here, how fast are they within itself. That'll be on the next one. We'll do a complete teardown, check the CPUs, and just check the components within and see how much what, what, you're, what you're really getting for your money. Um, so let's begin by talking about my experience. So five, five, almost six months ago now, I've ordered both of these. This one arrived three days or four days earlier than this one because this one was stuck in customs. And so let's just put this one to the side here. So I received this and it was my transition from Flysky. And I have been using Flysky for like seven months, the same transmitter. It was just, it was good. I enjoyed it. I had no issues with it. Now, when I got this, it was just like a life. It just changed everything for me. The, the the weight, the way it feels, the everything about it just just screaming super awesome because it's just like PlayStation Four and PlayStation Three, which is super cool. And um, I'm a thumber, so it just I just felt right at home with this guy. And I used him. I constantly used him before. I, this after I received this guy, I didn't use him for a week. I just kept using this guy because I really didn't want to try this one because when I first held him, it felt chunky and fat and I just didn't like it so I kept using this and it was super awesome however as time goes on I had some quads in the house that were still on the first generation protocol of the Flysky uh, receivers and um, this would not bind to it and that was a very big letdown for me because I was hoping this is going to completely replace my Flysky receiver until this day it does not have the update to do that which is a shame but everything has changed and no one's using the first generation anymore so that's something that was very important to me and take note of another thing that I really hated was the five model limitation however you can bind infinite amount of um, models to it but it's just those little ones or the Ternogy receivers, the Flysky tiny receivers or the Ternogy ones. Any other receiver I had to keep rebinding and I had a lot of those. And um, it was just, it's, it gets very annoying. I still do it to this day and um, I forget what I have bound to the receive, transmitter. And that's something to take note of. Now, let's talk about wear and tear. Over time, maybe in the first week, I started noticing that this started to have jitters and it's not centering perfect anymore. And I just took it, today was the first day I got enough time to actually take it apart and see if I could fix it or just play with the springs and, and it didn't do anything. It's still kind of loose and now it's just starting to feel more plasticky. So I really don't like the feeling of this and I do feel as if this is a dying product. Um, they should release a version 2. Uh, and I was expecting for I was expecting them to release a version two. It's been out for like ten months now, and um, there's nothing. It's just that's it. This is it, and it's, it's really nothing. And it's, it's very much. Um, it's a shame, really. This has so much potential. It's so compact. It's very nice. Yes, it's lacking a lot of features that that is lacking. But put the features off to the side. Just the basics that we we're just talking about the basics and wear and tear right now. Um, so overall, right now, after maybe the s second month of having it. I I really started not liking it. Why? Because I started putting in more time with this guy because I built more quads that had this receiver, the FR Sky receivers on there. And <clears throat> this one, I really hated using in the beginning, to be honest. I still love that one. And, you know, this had this little ratchety thing. You can feel it just click every time you move up, like click, 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 click. It just ratchets, it ratchets in there. And it was very annoying and it was very fat. It was very big. I really hated it. And um, I just didn't like it, but I had to keep putting more time in it because I had to test the quads. And as I put maybe like around two weeks, I've just been using them. And I do use them equally. Still to this day, I use them equally because I have receivers, uh, quads with this receiver and quads with this receiver that I take out usually. Um, but now I'm actually tending not like using the Ternogy Evolution and going with this. And why would you say that? Well, 
under a couple things I feel I'm in control a lot better and I believe it's due to the stick resolution because it has a lot more deflection and it feels more precise and the overall quality just feels a lot better and this ratcheting thing here it's actually a blessing it's just amazing like you can just be super precise and you know how much throttle you're if you, you'll even know if when you're yawing you just you know put the throttle down or put the throttle up because you could feel that and it feels so good it doesn't get in the way but I'm just starting to enjoy it and it's just it, it feels it feels like crap not flying without it anymore to be honest it's, it's weird I can't say I can't, I can't explain it however this one nowadays it just feels like a plastic toy controller um, the gimbals just uh, are just not fully there and um, I'm, I'm very much disappointed with this now and it's just kind of like I don't, I don't, I'm not preferring it anymore however this one is just it's still holding up very well I've took very good care of this one and it's still kind of just um, crapping out um, it just feels like it's just wearing out a lot easier uh, this one I hand it over to my two-year-old son he drops it does everything to it still perfect you know um, the amount of jitters I only have one jitter and it's by one point and it's on roll um, that's the only jitter I have, but just by one point though, so it's really, it's nothing bothering me. However, on the Turnergy, I do have a lot more jitters everywhere. On yaw, on um, roll, so this one is, is getting to be very annoying now. <clears throat> um, this one overall, five months, still holding up very well. Super strong, just amazing. And um, I do highly recommend, if, if I knew this back then, I would definitely go for the Tyrannus because it has more compatibility. You have more options also, not, not, just, not even just the wear and tear and the use and the feeling you get. In the beginning, it does feel kind of big, but then once you get used to it, it's just, it feels perfect. Um, I, I can't explain it. Well, at least for me, it feels perfect. So I really do like this a lot more than the Evolution here. And um, another feature I love about it is you can either use a 2S LiPo or just normal batteries and um, sometimes I forget to charge my batteries and what I do is I just go ahead and stop by a supermarket on my way and just put some batteries in there and go fly so it's pretty cool I don't know if you've noticed it's open it's because we were testing the protocol and I still have more testing to do on these two so I just left it open so don't think it's broken it's not broken I just didn't put the screws back in um, and the gimbals feel beautiful they're still strong, you know, no issues. Um, and I don't take super care of it, like I mentioned before. Like this one, this one, I'd always have the cover on. I don't let anyone touch it. Uh, this one is just, I, it's it's durable. It's actually very good. I'm very happy with it. I'm very pleased with it. I believe um, this was money well spent for me um, in, in that perspective. Um, so f as of right now, I do prefer this. And I am slowly starting my transition off of the Turnergy to this guy. However, I still have a lot of receivers, so I'm going to be stuck with this guy. Um, but overall, if I had the choice, I would definitely pick the QX7. Um, I would not get this guy. Now, I'm talking about the everyday flyer who just does some freestyle. I believe this would be the best option for you. But if you're going to racing, maybe this is good for you if you're a thumber. But other than that, I really don't see the, the really need for it. Because even with, with freestyle, you can still freestyle absolutely phenomenal. But the amount of precision you get with this is a lot more. And it's very much noticeable. Um, I do notice it a lot. And... Um, my rates change between these two. Uh, I believe one of them has higher rates than the other, and I forgot which one. Uh, I believe this one has higher rates than this one, or the opposite, I just can't remember. Um, and um, yeah, it does change the way you fly also. So if you have both, double check your, your rates, and try to change them and you'll notice a difference. You'll actually feel the difference between them um, when you get them to be exactly how you want. So for example, I just like, I, I would want that to be a full flip and to land perfect. And same thing on that one. And this way I get a full, uh, exact, comprehensive maybe comparison between these two. Um, and again, overall, you know, I believe the quality here is lacking. And the quality here is a lot better. I'm not saying it's the best quality, but I'm just saying it's a lot better. And um, this has become my favorite radio now. And I just, just I just want, really wanted to share this with you guys also uh, before we begin to tearing them down and checking the CPUs and the latencies and all that kind of crazy stuff. So, in conclusion, if you're stuck between these two, um, my recommendation however at the end it's your decision get what your heart tells you to get but from my personal experience um, I, I, I love this one this is the one I would go to I wouldn't even think twice of going to this one um, just in the in the terms and you know this has a lot even still I'm not even talking about the features I'm just talking about the overall feeling the overall flying and the reliability and durability this one seems like it's holding up a lot better than this one um, which is the reason why I also got myself this one so 
I just really wanted it. I just thought it would look just look absolutely sexy. However, this one, <laughs> the only thing I really didn't like about it also is they only had orange in stock and I did not want orange. I wanted white or black, but not orange. But um, I just didn't want to wait, so that's why I got this one as orange. However, this time we have the blue one, so this one's actually pretty cool, pretty pretty sweet. Um, so we will be actually also comparing these two in a later video. We'll do a teardown, see if anything's changed. Obviously, the gimbals are different, and the switches are different too. These are a lot smoother. Um, however, I like these for some reason because these are not so smooth, and you just they give you that satisfaction. You know, it's just so satisfying to hear that click. I just love that. I don't know why. And here, you, it's just super smooth, you know. You see that? And the momentary switch here, let me show you on this one. It's You don't know if you really enabled it or not, you know. It's just it's, It feels weird so far. Um, maybe I'm not used to it, but this one, check this one out. You get this nice, like, it's just so satisfying, that sound. Now, I know I clicked that for sure. So, I mean, that, that's just some differences, and we'll be taking this into more detail later on. However, this one comes with a lot more stuff. You have gimbal protectors, it comes with the bag, it comes with the nickel metal hydride battery, um, a charger for it, and um, it's, it's this one's overall is a better package. So if you do have the extra cash, I would recommend you go for this guy because you might buy that battery separate. You're going to possibly need to get some gimbal protectors, and you get a nice, beautiful carrying case, and I'll show you guys that later on in another video. Um, so later on we'll be tying these two also apart and seeing the difference but currently what I'm trying to say is um, if you had the choice and if you wanted to listen to someone who's had experience and just been absolutely um, using them all, equally I've been using them exactly the same days exactly almost the same time and um, I'm starting to prefer this one a lot more even though I was super biased and I love this one more um, that's it. It just, you know, the better product actually just starts showing up after a while. And to me, it seems that it's this one overall for everything. You know, if you're a pincher, your fingers will fit. If you're a thumber, it's perfect. And I don't have the biggest hand, so if it's perfect for me, I'm sure it's going to be perfect for a lot of other people also. And, well, that's going to include it for this for you guys. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, Feel free to let me know and don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bar because the testing between these two will be coming very soon and um, yeah we'll, we'll finally know which one's the best one. Um, and well that's it guys so that's going to conclude for this video guys I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.